Welcome to Mishnah Stari Masechet Shavuot, Perek Dalet, Mishnah Dalet. Over here, we're going to move on to speak about olive trees. A person who has olive trees in his field and he wants to thin them out. Now, you can either thin out olive trees by, you know, cutting away the branches, almost to the point where it's going to be a tree stump, or you could actually uproot the olive tree. Now, what are you allowed to do? Now, why are you doing this? First of all, you're not doing it to work the field. If you're doing it to work the field, that's for sure not allowed. You're not allowed to benefit the field on the Shavuot year. But now, you want to go ahead and you need these. The, the, this wood for building, or well, you need it for firewood, right? Actually, Hanan Bam says, uh, Hanan Bam says that you're doing using this for etzim, right? You need it for wood. So what are you uh, what are you allowed to do when it comes to these zetim? Hamedel bazetim, right? We're going to explain what medel is. Medel literally means to thin out, dal, right? Literally a pour, right? So you're 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 thinning out the the zetim, the olive trees. So bet shamay omrim yagom, or bet ilel omrim yesharish. Right, so first we'll see later on the Mishnah how many trees you're removing when you when you quote unquote medel, right? Bishamai says yagom. Yagom literally means to chop it. Right, you could cut the um, you could cut the tree, and he cuts it down, but he leaves some of the you know you cut it down you know cut it down to the ground, but you leave the roots over there. Right, you're giving leaving leaving a tree stump. Betilel says you're allowed to go ahead and actually uproot the tree. So I put a picture of both. The left one is the agom, right? It's an olive tree that's, you see the tree stump. You can go a little further, right? The point is over here, you have to leave the tree stump. Betilel says the you're allowed to uproot the tree totally with all the roots. Umodim mahalik right? Betilel agrees though, if you're going to be mahalik, what's mahalik? We'll see later on in the Mishnah, but it's taking. You're, you're you're already skimming off too many trees, right? There's a certain amount of trees now. You know now you're cutting way too many. At that point, Bet Tilel says, "Okay, yeah, agom. Over there, you need to leave the tree stumps." Ezu medel was considered medel thinning out trees. Hadoshnaim, right? One or two trees, one or two olive trees. You're uprooting them. Bet Tilel says, "Let uproot." When it comes to mahalik, literally smoothing out the field, that's considered okay. That's three trees. If you're taking off three trees, that's considered mahalik. And over there, Bet Tilel would agree that you're not allowed to uproot it. Rather, you have to leave the tree stump. devarim amurim. When are we talking about? Always, if he is uprooting these trees in his own yard. Right, his own field. But if it's in his friend's field, even if you're cutting more than two trees, you're cutting three, four, five, whatever you want, you're allowed to uproot it totally. Right? Because again, a person's not gonna have kavana for fixing his friend's field. Right? He's he's taking the wood because he wants it for firewood, he maybe something else, and he was allowed to. So we don't assume that he's going to going ahead and he's not suspected of going ahead for to to uh, fix a field.